Hey everybody, welcome to Hey Guess What? Today, we are going to learn about the sunshine state. Do you know what state that is? Well, we're going to find out, but before we do, make sure to hit that subscribe button for me, okay? All right, cool, thanks. Let's start the video. Today, we are learning about the state of Florida. Florida is a state in the southeastern United States of America. Florida is actually the southernmost state in the continental United States of America. It's the 22nd largest state and third most populous state in the United States. Did you know that more than 20 million people live in Florida? And the city of Tallahassee is the state capital of Florida. Florida is best known for its theme parks, the nice sunny days, its beaches, its alligators, and of course being very hot. Florida also has a wide variety of plant and animal wildlife, which we'll learn a little bit later about in this video. Florida is what's called a peninsula, and this means that Florida is surrounded by water on three sides of its state. Northern Florida is connected to Alabama in the northwest and Georgia in the northeast. If you swim off Florida's west coast, you'll be swimming in the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico. And if you swim off the east coast, you'll be splashing away in the Atlantic Ocean, which extends all the way up the coast of the United States and into Canada. Off the south coast, you'll be swimming in what's called the Straits of Florida. Now, more than 12,000 years ago, the first people to live in what is now Florida arrived. They originally hunted small animals and gathered wild plants for food. Over the course of many years, Native American tribes including the Tumuqua, Apalachee, Calusa, and Creek lived in the state. During the beginning of Florida, the coastline along the Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico was very different all those years ago. For example, the sea level was much lower than it is today. This means that the Florida Peninsula was more than twice as big as it is today. And the huge variety of environments in Florida thousands of years ago had a large number of plants and animals. The animal population included most mammals that we know today, but they also included many other large mammals that are now extinct, such as the saber-toothed tiger, mastodons, giant armadillos, and believe it or not, camels. That's right, I said camels. The first written records about life in Florida began with the arrival of the Spanish explorer and adventurer Juan Ponce de Leon in 1513. Other Europeans may have found Florida before this, but no real evidence of a discovery has been found. So it was estimated that sometime between April 2nd and April 8th, Ponce de Leon came ashore on the northeast coast of Florida. And it's possible that he landed near where St. Augustine, Florida is now. He came searching for gold and silver, and he sailed along with 200 other people, about 50 horses, as well as other strong animals that Ponce de Leon brought with him to help move things as well as farm. He called the area La Florida in honor of Pascua, Florida, which is the Feast of the Flowers, which is also Spain's Easter time celebration. Ponce de Leon's colonization attempt didn't do too well, and this was because of attacks by the native people that already lived there. However, Ponce de Leon's discovery of the fertile farmland, tons of coastline, as well as an excellent spot for shipping, made other people realize that Florida was a very desirable place for explorers, missionaries, as well as treasure seekers. No wonder Great Britain, Spain, and France all tried to establish settlements in Florida. The capital of Florida is Tallahassee, and it was established in 1824. And Tallahassee was picked because it's halfway between the existing government centers that were located in St. Augustine and Pensacola, Florida. 
sugarcane, fish, phosphate, and petroleum are also top natural resources from the state of Florida. Florida is called the Sunshine State because it is the state that gets more sunlight than any other state in the United States of America. Did you know that another nickname is the Alligator State? And this is because of the large number of alligators that are found in Florida. But what about other animals that live in Florida? Well, Florida's wildlife includes a large group of different mammals, such as armadillos, black bears, as well as Florida panthers. There are also a large number of different reptiles, such as, you guessed it, alligators, crocodiles, and snakes. And you can also find a lot of different sea life, like manatees, sea turtles, dolphins, and whales. And let's not forget about birds, such as raptors, owls, cranes, and the state bird of Florida, the mockingbird. Another thing that may surprise you is that there are more than 300 types of native trees that grow in Florida. Some of these trees are apple and cherry trees in the north and mangrove forests in the swamps down south. You will also find a lot of tall sawgrass in the marshes. But Florida's most famous plant has got to be the orange tree. Did you know that the orange blossom is the state flower? Remember earlier we talked about Ponce de Leon? Well, many historians believe that Ponce de Leon was the first person to plant orange seeds in the state of Florida. And now, over three centuries later, newly built railroads have allowed growers to ship oranges across the entire United States. And today, Florida provides the oranges for most of the orange juice sold in the USA. Did you know that Central Florida has more lightning than anywhere else in the United States of America? Florida also has the highest average precipitation or rain levels than any of the other states. Florida also has the most hurricanes. And believe it or not, Florida is the state that leads the United States of America in tornadoes per area. Another thing about Florida, it has more toll roads, bridges, and golf courses than any other state in the United States. St. Augustine, Florida is also home to the World Golf Hall of Fame and Museum. Florida also produces more tomatoes, strawberries, sugar, and watermelons than any other state. And like we mentioned a bit earlier, it also supplies 70% of the oranges in the United States and supplies 40% of the entire world's orange juice. Wow. Now here's a question. Do you like the beach and ocean? Well, guess what? No matter where you are in Florida, you're no more than only 60 miles from the ocean. And Florida has a lot. Florida has over 1,300 miles of coastline and 800 miles of beaches. So that's why Florida is the top travel destination in the world. It gets more than 90 million visitors every single year. And a lot of those visitors go to Disney World. That's right, Disney World, the 40 square mile park located in the city of Orlando, has more than 60,000 employees and welcomes more than 62,000 visitors every single day. But did you know that on super, super busy days, over 100,000 people can be found visiting Disney World. Florida can also even take you out of this world for real. There are actual rockets that launch into space from Cape Canaveral. And these rockets have been taking off from Cape Canaveral since 1950. And Florida isn't just a great place to visit, Many, many people have called the state of Florida home, and more than 100 people move to Florida every single day. Wow, that's a lot of information about a very, very nice state called Florida. 
We hope you learned a lot about the state of Florida and let us know if you've ever visited or gone there or maybe even lived there by letting us know on our Instagram page. We'll make sure to link it in the description. So if you liked this video and you learned something new, make sure to smash that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you on the next Hey, Guess What?